I was going through my reels the other day, and um, this guy was like, rewatch the movie Minister Society. He was like, old dog never existed. I'm like, man, get the fuck out of here, dog. First, I blew it off, but I've been thinking about it a lot today. He like, realistically, old dog is Kane's alter ego. And I'm like, hmm, today I'm like, nah, <clears throat> hold on. I'm like, nah, nah, hold on. Because how did Kane's grandfather have a conversation with old dog then if he doesn't really exist? But then again, maybe he was just having a conversation with Kane. <laughs> you know, and if you think about it, there's other movies that's done shit like that too. Like uh, Fight Club, Edward Norton. If you watch that movie, you think Brad Pitt is a real character. But he not. He's Edward Norton's alter ego. So it's like the you that wants to fight people, that wants to rob people, that wants to kill people, but you don't think you would really get away with that. So you have to create this alter ego that can do all the things you can't do. And I'm just like, why he do this shit, man? Because I'm already somebody that's an overthinker. So it's like, if you think about the ending to Minister Society, all Kane, after he got shot up, old dog come out busting back. None of them bullets hit old dog. That's just not possible. It was a drive-by. And the kind of, they had military guns they were shooting at Kane with, like, but it makes sense if old dog doesn't really exist. And it fucked me up. Like, why the motherfucker wasn't going to get help, old dog? If this your homie, you know, this show, uh, let me use one of my mama terms, Ace Boon Coon. Why you just fucking standing there watching them die? Like, but that would make more sense if what old boy is saying is true, that old dog isn't a real person. And keep in mind, old dog would never say no to Kane when he like, hey, give me a gun. And he like, hey, or he like, you, you got your gun on you? Like, you know it. And he just hands it to Kane. Like everything... Kane asks old dog to do old dog to do it and vice versa. So it's like, damn, man, maybe this motherfucker is right. <laughs> but if he is right, that's a masterpiece of how they did that to make old dog seem like he's his own character. And if you think about even how Kane introduces old dog, like he's talking about him like this, the most gangster craziest nigga in the world, even though he a young nigga. Everybody would talk about they self like that. If you ask me, I ain't got nothing bad to say about myself. You got to find other motherfuckers to say negative shit about me. So, I don't know, man. This The wheel's been turning in my head today about that real life. And I don't have to re-watch Menace to Society. That's one of my favorite movies. Like, I'm one of them hood classic watching ass niggas. So, I've seen Menace to Society, Tales from the Hood, Boys in the Hood. I done seen all of them movies. So... I don't know. But then it's like, well, what about the scenes where Kane isn't around and old dog is, you know, interacting with Stacy and Sh Sharif and all the other ones. But then again, all of Kane's friends are old dog's friends. So realistically, maybe they just thinking about Kane when Kane isn't around, which manifests old dog, his alter ego. I don't know, man. He fucking me up. I don't like when people do this shit, man, for real. Because I'm like, damn. That was done too well, if it is a separate character. That's actually his alter ego that everybody thinks is a real person.